Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived two best friends who were neighbours. Their names were Kay and Gerda. Kay and Gerda each planted a rose in their front yards to show their love for one another. The roses were going to grow together with them. At the end of fall, winter had come and the town was covered in snow. During the cold winter nights, Kay and Gerda's biggest fun was the fairy tale time with Gerda's grandmother. Where does the snow and the cold come from? asked Gerda. From far away! Her grandmother answered and started to tell her story. There was a kingdom covered with ice and snow. The Snow Queen lived alone in the ice castle, made purely by her own magic. The Snow Queen was very beautiful and pure as ice. But the Snow Queen was evil-hearted and a lot of miracles were hidden in the magical and cold ice castle. The Icy Mirror was one of them. It was through the Icy Mirror that the Snow Queen's evil eyes watched everything that happened in the world. Right at that moment, Gerda saw the Snow Queen watching them behind the window. Kay! Grandmother! Look! It is the Snow Queen watching us through the window! I'm sure it is just a cat frozen from the cold. Grandmother! Can the Snow Queen really come here? <laughs> Let her try! I would throw her in the chimney so fast, she would melt and turn into the Water Queen. <laughs> watching through the ice mirror, the Snow Queen heard what Kay said. So you will throw me into the chimney and turn me into the Water Queen? Ha! Ice sparkles! Fly with my powers! Find this boy! Make his eyes and heart mine! Let his sight! Be evil for everything around him! And let the love in his heart be gone forever! Ordered the Snow Queen to her ice sparkles. Suddenly, a snowstorm started to blow in front of Gerda's house. The ice sparkles were moving fast towards Gerda. Curious about what was going on, Kay opened the window. Gerda screamed right away. Kay, stop! But it was too late. Oh, my eye! Something stung my eye! Oh, my heart! What is going on? And at that moment, the Snow Queen's curse was carried out by the ice sparkles. His eyes and heart were struck, and Kay had transformed into another person. Gerda asked him what had happened, but Kay yelled at her. Nothing! I'm fine! Leave me alone! This was weird. Kay was never rude to Gerda like this. She just couldn't understand why all of a sudden he started to behave this way. Kay's rude behaviour continued to the next morning. When Kay was taking his sleigh out of the garden, Gerda asked him where he was going. He snapped at her again. He jumped on his sleigh and moved away. Gerda ran after him but could not reach him. Suddenly, on her sleigh, the Snow Queen appeared from nowhere and Kay started to follow her. Gerda was stunned and couldn't do anything as they both disappeared from sight. The Snow Queen was taking him to her ice castle. Gerda spent days in front of her window, waiting for Kay to come back. Days and months passed and the winter was over. But still, there was no sign of Kay. Couldn't stand waiting anymore. Gerda made up her mind, taking only the mirror her grandmother gave her. She head out to start looking for her dearest friend, Kay. Brave Gerda passed many roads and asked everyone she met on her way if they had seen Kay. Finally, she reached the shore of a river. 
She looked around, and there was no one to be seen that she could ask about Kay. She asked the river, but could not get a reply. At that moment, a seagull came next to her. The river would definitely have an answer for you, but first you have to give her a gift. Gerda took out her dearly beloved necklace and placed it on the water of the river. Suddenly, a miracle happened, and from nowhere, a small boat appeared right in front of her. Gerda thought that the river liked her gift and was returning the favour. As soon as she hopped on, the boat started to move on its own. The boat brought Gerda to another shore. Here there was a secret garden, full of flowers with all the colours of the rainbow. Gerda had not seen such a beautiful garden before in her life. But there was something missing. None of these flowers had a scent. On the other side of the garden, she saw a woman approaching her. She was the owner of the garden. Welcome, my beautiful little girl. She greeted Gerda with a big smile. And suddenly, she realized that she could smell the flowers in her garden again. I am sorry that I entered your garden without your permission, said Gerda. It's okay, honey. Come on, my dear. I'm glad you came. It's been such a long time anybody's come to my garden. Tell me, what are you doing here, all alone? Gerda told the flower lady that she was looking for her friend Kay, asked whether she knew about him. But the lady said that Gerda was the only person she had seen. Really? Well then let me get back to the road. I have to find Kay as soon as possible. The flower lady didn't want her to go away, so she made up a lie. Did you say Kay? Hmm, let me see. I might have seen him around somewhere. Gerda told her everything, and when the flower lady heard the Snow Queen's name mentioned, she got very worried. Snow Queen, let her be far away from here. Cold thing, because of her my flowers haven't smelt for years. Then all of a sudden, the lady wanted to comb Gerda's hair. Gerda could not understand why, but the flower lady insisted. Little did Gerda know that it actually was a magic comb. The magic comb made Gerda forget about everything she knew. Only her joy remained. But the flower lady was not evil. She just did it for fun. When she woke up from her sweet sleep, Gerda did not remember anything. Not even why she was there or how she got there. But when she saw the roses on the lady's hat, she started to remember things. No magic could overcome the power of true love. Gerda didn't know how long she stayed in the Garden of Sleep, but her memories suddenly all came back. She immediately turned back to shore. The boat was still there, but she did not know which way to go or what to do. At that moment, a crow started to fly over her head. It was as if he was trying to tell her something. So Gerda started to follow him. She followed the crow for a while until they reached the icy seas. Right in the middle of the ice, there was a pirate ship from some time ago where the crow flew and landed. Gerda followed him on her boat and made her way to the ship. So, is this how I get to the Queen's castle with this pirate ship? Pirates appeared on the deck, and one of them, a pirate girl, approached Gerda. You go wherever we go, and that is... Nowhere! Ha! 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 Right at that moment, the Snow Queen was trying to make Kay forget about everything in his past. She succeeded up to some point, but whatever she did, Gerda would not leave Kay's memory. Gerda! Oh, Gerda, soon your heart will turn into ice and you will not remember a thing. Finding out about her friend Kay being held captive in Snow Queen's castle, 
The pirate girl told Gerda to better forget about him, because there was no way to get him out of there. I won't forget. He's my best friend. I have to find him, replied Gerda. The pirate girl could not really understand Gerda's persistence. Actually, she wanted her to stay there and become her friend. But Gerda was determined to find Kay. I'll do whatever it takes to rescue him. Because she had no friends, the pirate girl really admired Gerda's attitude and decided to help her. The next day, at sunrise, the pirate girl brought Gerda a reindeer. This was the fastest reindeer in the whole Snow Kingdom, and she was going to show Gerda the way. Promise me that you will get that icy witch. You will also save our ship. I promise I'll return your favor, answered Gerda. Riding the reindeer, Gerda was on her way. First, she had to find out how she could defeat the Snow Queen. The reindeer was going to show her how. After a long journey, they had reached the North Pole. An old wise man welcomed them. So, you finally brought the mirror, huh? Gerda could not understand how the wise man knew about her mirror. But nevertheless, she knew she came to the right place. So she took out her mirror and showed it to the man. So I'm going to finish the Snow Queen with this? This is a magic mirror. It shows the truth. Nothing but the truth. Even if it is hidden deep inside. Because nothing was stronger than true love, the real strength in all of us was love. Gerda found out who the Snow Queen was thanks to the wise man. If she could reveal the truth, she could beat her. Because actually, in the past, the Snow Queen was a good girl, full of love. Wherever she touched, flowers blossomed and her smiling eyes shined brighter than the sun. She was a unique and happy girl named Lilla. But everyone thought she was a little witch and did not play with or even talk to her. Left all alone, Lilla wasn't a happy girl anymore. She started to hate everything and everyone around her. Until one day, she made a wish. Everyone mean to me shall turn to ice. And then she built a castle made out of snow and lived in it far away from anyone, all alone and without love or joy. Gerda arrived at the Snow Queen's castle and entered inside. She saw Kay in one of the corners, making an ice sculpture. You're here! I found you! Kay! It's me, Gerda! Don't you remember me? Kay looked at Gerda, but he did not recognize her. Ha! Ha! His heart, like everything else here, has turned into ice. Gerda did not pay any attention to what the Snow Queen was saying. Let him go! He belongs to me now. I will turn you into ice as well. No, you won't make it! Kay, I love you! Kay slowly started to remember. Gerda, yes, I remember now. Furious! The Snow Queen shook her wand as fast as light and out came the Curse of Ice. Right at that moment, Gerda took out her mirror and held it against the curse. Hitting the mirror, the curse disappeared. And the moment had come. The Snow Queen looked at Gerda's mirror, only to see that it wasn't her reflection she saw on the mirror. It was the face of a little girl. The face of Lilla. Suddenly, the Snow Queen returned to her little and loving self and became Lilla again. Thank you very much. Now I know who I really am. I'm free again. Goodbye. Kay and Gerda looked at each other and smiled. From now on, they would never part and they would grow together. 
just like the roses they had planted in their front yards.
twinkle, twinkle. 